Hello and welcome to In Your Face. I'm Nick Rocho with Toby and Michael here to discuss some baseball topics today. Toby, what is going on with David Price? What's his situation? Well, David Price is in the last year of his contract with the Tampa Bay Rays, and he has been shopped around with a bunch of teams. But Tampa Bay has the, you know, they are hallucinating and think that they can still win and they can still make the playoffs, which the reality is that they can't. I ultimately see Tampa Bay being stubborn and holding on to Price, which is the wrong decision in my opinion, and Price will be a free agent come the summer of the 2015 season. Ultimately, I see him signing with either Seattle or New York, and I just think New York has more cash to splash on David Price, and they always want a new starting arm in their rotation. If it's not going to be David Price in New York next year, it will be John Lester. The and Michael, what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> well, the Yankees already have spent enough cash, and look where it got them. I mean... Seattle might be the best fit for Price. A, because Seattle needs a good arm, and they need that extra boost in order to make a push to get into the postseason and to catch up with Los Angeles and Oakland to get in the West. It's, it's phenomenal how you think that the Yankees would be the best fit for them. They've lost four-fifths of their rotation. Who's to say they won't lose Price, too? I'm not, s- they get him. I'm not saying it's it's the best fit for him. I don't think it is, but ultimately, money talks, right? You're gonna, he's going to get offered the most money in New York, and New York will never stop spending money. That's the way their organization is run. That's the way they build their teams. They spend. So they're going to spend on David Price. Well, it is still a trade, though. It's still a trade, and you got to offer up prospects. The Yankees have already done that to the Padres with your various Solarte and that pitching prospect just for Chase Headley. So, what kind of prospects do you think the Yankees could offer after offering off pitcher? What kind of prospects? They won't. Do you Tampa Bay is not going to deal him. They're too. They're too stubborn. They're, they won't deal him, and they'll sign with them in the free agent summer. Uh, in winter. Well, Price is the main right. subject. I'm going to have to cut you guys off there. We're going to move on to our next topic. Toby, what are your thoughts on the Red Sox playoff chances? They don't have any chance. They're not going to make the playoffs. Just sh- please, youth movement. I want the youth movement so badly. They have so many teams to leap over. Even though these next 11 games against the Blue Jays, Rays, and Yankees are going to be very telling to what they will, how, what their chances are, I just don't see it. I don't see this team making the playoffs. They, they've dug themselves in too deep of a hole, and they have too many teams to leap over into making the playoffs. So I just see the young guys, move on from your older guys, and just build towards next year. And, Michael, how well do you think the Red Sox will fare this season? Do you the think Red, they'll be able to get into the playoffs? It all depends on these next 11 games, like he, Toby said. Um, if they can win most of these games, then you can see them getting making a shot at it and actually getting back over the 500 mark. I see them finishing pretty well, and if they do make the playoffs, it's going to be a wild card spot. It's not going to be the East Division title, but I want them to get back there. They'll definitely have a shot if their young guys can step up. Jackie Bradley Jr. obviously needs to get working on his offense. He's doing that. Brock Holt is doing great. Vasquez... And the others need to step up for the guys that have stepped down and been kicked out of the organization. Ortiz needs to find a way to get his bang average back up. Uh, 23 home runs isn't going to get you all the way to October. So if they want to make a postseason push, they have to do it now, and they have to win the at, the mo- at most like eight of these next 11 games in order to make that big push. Ultimately, uh, uh, I just I just see that. You know, they have so many teams to jump. It's not exactly the size of the deficit. It's the teams that they have to jump over and how many teams have to perform poorly and them having to perform well that will not see them in the playoffs. That's 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 about all the time we have for today on uh, In Your Face. I'm, I'm Nick along with Toby and uh, Michael. We're going to wrap it up here from the SBC Studios. Have a good night.